Uh, g'day sports fans, of, um, you might remember this cell from um, previous videos where it was fitted in the patrol and um, four-wheel four drive patrol and um, I think I had two of, had two of them in there and um, yeah, uh, they've been used for um, three or four hundred hours I guess and so I'm decommissioning them to get the tubes out and um, and put them into another project. So here's one here that's taken out of its container um, that's been decommissioned. I just wanted to show you the how the tubes have got this coating on them. And I think we can see remember I used that um, gutter guard mesh as a as a separator for the tubes and um, some people talk about conditioning the plates and um, that's a stainless steel um, plate that conducts all the negatives together there and the positives are all coming around the outside of the tubes um, so yeah I'm going to pull it apart and been doing a little bit of um, rehash testing with it as a test um, unit. What I've got is um, a container of um, tap water here, just straight tap water that I just filled up. Let me put that in there for now. Tubes of another one of those same cells are decommissioned. There's all the tubes for it in there. Bright and shiny. These ones are kind of um, not that used look to them. I know Bob Boyce uh, talked about conditioning the plates in his um, large plate array cell and the um, Joe Tube guys talk about conditioning the plates as well going through different phases of uh, conditioning let's just see how that cell performs in this condition and this is really the subject of another um, video but I've been reworking some alternators and um, this one's windings have been replaced with um, insulated conductors so I can get high voltages without worrying about the um, output coils uh, shorting through the insulation with the high voltages. Uh, I've got um, what bifill wound coils in there and uh, they're hooked up to rectifier diodes. The light's pretty bad, you can't probably see them. Um, Yep, lead of that, the positive and negative uh, of the rectifier block, which is just sitting in the vice at the moment. I'm going to connect it up. Now yeah, we usually have the positive on the outer cell. See how the old uh, cell performs. Okay, if you haven't, uh, this is the subject of another video, but uh, I've got a 12 volt battery connected to the uh, pulse width modulator driver there for the um, field the alternator and the light's pretty bad um, there's an ammeter there I'm measuring the output current of the DC side of the rectifiers and uh, we'll power it up and see what happens <laughs> also got the um, Connected to a scope here, and uh, also the, the field 
drive, which is the lower trace there. So we're increasing the um, pulse width modulator. We'll give an output straight away. Um, Trace with the sine wave on it there is um, that's actually like about um, three volts RMS there, just standing standing voltage on the uh, output coils without any um, field excitation current. As I increase the there's the pulse width modulation coming in, and we're increasing that. Well, sorry, I haven't got a sync for the um, excitation, sync for the output. You can see there the voltage now on 22 volts RMS and 1.2 kilohertz. And the cell is taken off. Um, the current. Um, four amps, one two volts, totally foamed up cell output in all. Well, I can't measure it, but um, substantial amount of hydrogen there. HHO. So, so let's turn that current down. the uh, generator off and let it settle. These cells, they, they're still doing the job. If anyone wants to maybe buy one of these arrays for their own um, experimentation, I'm, I'm now quite happy to sell them. You can see I've got, I've got um, tube type I call them Stan Meyer inspired cells. So this one's only got four four tubes and it's only got gutter guard in there. Um, you make a suitable housing, these food food containers do okay, but look if someone wants to buy that they can have it for like um maybe fifty bucks. Let me know. I'm getting way too much uh gear in here. Um I'm trying to have a clean out. Let's settle down again, um, kind of. Just watch this output take off again. I'll turn the, turn the unit on. Yeah, it works pretty well. That is maximum, maximum field excitation. The 10.6 amp output to the cell. 40.6 volts, 41 volts. Yeah, it's putting out a lot. These old girls um, will last forever. That's, there's nothing on that stainless steel tube to wear out. I kind of like the gutter guard idea is keeping the separation distance as well. Yeah, stand my type cells. So the alternator project is um, going to be subject to another video. I'm working on ways of multiplying the, the frequency of the output and um, you know these diodes hardly get warm at 10 amps. I'm quite happy with the winding of the the alternator. Even though you can't see it but um, to give you an idea you can see in there the windings or not. Not enough light, but suffice to say, um, to give you a hint, it's been rewound with Cat5 um, data cable. 
Yeah, let's see. You get four strands of um, white and four strands of coloured. You, I've separated them like that um, in one winding, one winding of the eight conductors. So it's a by filler if you want it to be, or series or parallel. Um, do what you want with that, but that's still under um, trying to increase the frequency there, and uh, still working on that. Yeah, that's the update on. Um, on the old original Stanmeyer inspired cells. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos uh, on the channel and you might um, take you back a couple of years to when these units were actually fitted in the car and running. <laughs>